I'm glad to be here today. Um, hell, I'm glad to be anywhere today. This was Randy Pausch at CMU's graduation last May. It was nine months after he was told he had three to six months to live, and he was sharing a secret he had learned. We don't beat the reaper by living longer. We beat the reaper by living well. And living fully and well is what he did, as millions around the world watched his final lecture on the internet or read it in a best-selling book. It was a lecture about how to achieve your childhood dreams. He punctuated his talk with one-armed push-ups. Pretty good for a guy who was dying. A death he spoke eloquently about when he asked a congressional subcommittee for more funding to fight pancreatic cancer. I have 100% chance of dying, and there isn't anybody in the medical community who won't bet that I won't be dead by the end of the year. He didn't make it till the end of the year, but he lived every day to the fullest, sweeping his wife off her feet at CMU's graduation and never feeling sorry for himself. I'm sorry I won't be around to raise my kids. It makes me very sad, but uh, I can't change that fact. And so I've tried to do everything I could with the time I had and the time I have to help other people. Posh leaves behind three children and his wife, Jay, he also leaves behind a message of inspiration for millions of people around the world. <laughs> and it guess it's nice to make the most of it. It took Randy Pausch only 76 minutes on a day last September here on the Carnegie Mellon University campus to forge a legacy that will resound far beyond the 47 years he spent on this earth. I've been a sad day, maybe the saddest day in my career. Peter Lee, who had CMU's computer science department, says Randy's real genius was reminding us that the simplest things are the best. He was absolutely devoted to his family. Uh, he was directly involved still in managing his research projects here. It's so hard to describe how we feel. Wanda Van now steps in as manager of the Alice Project, Pausch's creation of a teaching bridge between computer science and the arts. She and the Alice team met with Randy only a week ago. It was a very poignant and uh, precious time uh, on one of the last days of his life. He went through inc incredible amounts of pain, but he, and you never see it on his face. Dan Swarek keeps a picture of Pausch on his desk thinking he'll walk through the door. You need me telling you you're a jerk <laughs> and, you, and you come away feeling good. Randy Pausch saw the humor in life even as his own slipped away. And he said his now famous last lecture was really a road map written for his three young children, Dylan, Logan and Chloe. One of his deepest regrets is simply not being there for them. Pausch said, I'm attempting to put myself in a bottle that one day will wash up on the beach for my children. This morning, around 4 o'clock, Randy Pausch began a new adventure. The presence that he had in real life will continue with us for uh, many years to come.